you guys how you doing it's henry at mowers and blowers welcome to another weekend product review today i'm reviewing an item that's very relevant to the channel for garage backyard wrenchers like myself uh especially ones with a youtube channel um this is a very useful tool it's a half inch impact these are very expensive you guys know this is from excited work you gotta work on the name to be honest with you. If you just got rid of the work it'd be fine excited is okay anyway this is a 20 volt cordless impact wrench half inch driver high torque 370 foot pounds brushless impact gun with detent anvil <laughs> whatever that means anyway here we go these are one of the things that i'm going to be doing in a series of excited work products and uh I currently only have a Mansella half inch impact driver, which doesn't really work that well. Like when I squeeze it to go to high torque, it stops. So I haven't really used that very much. When it works, it works, but it usually doesn't work. Let's hope this one's way better. Uh, it's a manufacturer in China. They want to get their name out into the US market. So they choose YouTube influencers like myself in the united states who use these tools on a regular basis as part of their channel so i know you guys are excited as much as excited is for me to be doing this um look good so far good quality box uh you know usually it's really flimsy stuff but this is a you know they market it you know it, it costs money to put printing on a box Look at this, real nice plastic case, excited work, good clamps. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna get you closer. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna. There you go, you can see much better now. Hey. Instructions. Get out of here, we don't need instructions. Forget about it. Wow, this is nice looking, huh? Look at that. Uh, rubber textured grip here. Loosen. Ooh. Tighten. Let's put a big socket in here. This is a uh, 22 millimeter. So because it's from China, it's all going to be millimeters. You're not going to have the... Uh, 516 so you're not going to put a 516 on a uh, half inch you know what i mean so it's always going to be like half inch um 916 wow. that's great so seems really strong and the one that i had before when you when you did this for a while it would stop just like that like one or two clicks and it would stop and then it wouldn't work anymore you'd have to take the battery out and put it back in again this one seems like it has uh, unlimited power. It's fantastic. Uh, 20 volt, four amps per hour lithium ion battery. And on the battery itself, you would uh, charge it and it has the gauge. I would, I would always say and criticize manufacturers that do not put a gauge on here. So you can see how much power you have. And this has two bars already. So it could use a little bit of a charge, but you don't want to uh, charge it when it already has two bars. You want to deplete all the um, electricity in it before you recharge it because that prolongs the life of the lithium ion battery. It's just something that I've learned over the years, you know. Uh, once it's in here, look, it, it also tells you again. Oh, you press this, I think. There you go. And that shows only, yeah, it shows two bars or one bar. So it, it's telling, this is telling you that the battery needs another charge. So we're all almost done with the battery life. But that, yet that says two. So that's not really consistent right there. The battery's telling you it needs that one more bar, but the tool itself is telling you that you need... Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. I'm, I'm wrong here. This is the setting for strength. That's what it is. There you, there you go. You see that? This is the uh, torque strength of the tool itself. So three is highest. Look. Look. 
and it has a LED light here so you can see what the fuck you're doing. Very nice. I like it. So it comes with four um, sockets, 17 millimeter, 19 millimeter, and this is 21 millimeter. So it has all the uh, most used in millimeters. You can convert that to your um, regular standard uh, SAE values. Uh, here's the charger. You plug it into your wall, obviously, and it doesn't click, okay? Slightly, but it doesn't have a solid click, which you kind of want to make sure. It just slides in there, almost like the feeling of the metal prongs touching these prongs. That's the feeling it has, but it's not a click. It should have a click, but it's fine. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Oh, and a belt clip, see? Why do you need instructions for that? Oh, well, maybe... The new layperson to tools, well, look, a new person to tools is not going to invest money into a half-inch impact. Usually, they go with the quarter-inch or the three-eighths. But, um, see, without instructions, I don't know how to attach the belt clip. See, just looking at it. I want to try to figure it out without instructions, but I can't figure out how you attach this. <laughs> So I cheated. I went and looked at the instructions because I wanted to know how to put the clip, the belt clip, onto it. I couldn't figure out how. So then I saw it, and it goes right there. But you need a screw, and I don't have a screw. It's lost, or they didn't give me a screw. So now I can't put it on because you can't just shove any screw in there. It has to fit perfectly in the threads. And I'm not going to bother because this just hooks onto your pants and cuts your leg, whatever it gets in the way. So leave it off. Uh, let's go see if we can try this somewhere. Okay. Well, this is an engine that I'm currently working on. Um, this is the cylinder head right here. And these are the cylinder head bolts. These are torqued down to over 220 inch pounds or at least 18 through 20 foot pounds of torque with a regular... Um, quarter inch impact it's not going to work and i've tried with the regular three eighths impact and it doesn't work so let's try it it's a half inch bolt and i've got it on here a half inch socket my own let's see if we can take this head bolt off Woo there we go that's a head bolt that I could not remove with those other ones. So the torque is very strong. And I think this is probably rated at about that, a little bit more maybe. Beautiful. Fantastic. I love it. Just plugged in the charger and we'll just charge our battery like so. There you go. Perfect. So it's green, uh, it's green when it's fully charged and uh, red means it's charging. So fantastic. Um... These things are very expensive, but they're not expensive from excited work. Check out the link in the description. It's a fantastic half inch impact wrench and uh, I absolutely love it because I need it. The one that I got before from another review, that sucks. This one's really good. Um, I like it a lot. I'm excited to get some more excited products to review for you guys. Thanks a lot for joining me on this product review. We'll see you guys all next time on mowers and blowers.